Hello everybody. Today I wanted to talk about why I like Laos. I did a quick video on Facebook, but this is the longer video. I also want to talk about what it is like to live here in Laos. Um, I've lived here for two years. Um, not very long, in my opinion. Some people might say that's a long time. Um, but before I moved here, I already spoke Hmong, and after moving here, I learned how to speak Lao. Um, I am not very good at speaking Thai. I feel like I'm one of the rare foreigners who learned Lao and never learned how to speak Thai. Um, I can't read Thai, and I barely understand Thai, but I can understand Lao. Um, anyways, when I first got here, um, I thought it would be easy, and I would be able to have a great time, you know, um, especially after living here after about the first month. I realized there's so many things here that uh, are new and I love new things, right? Um, and I really jumped into the culture. I really jumped into things and that really helped me in the long term, but not so much in the short term. Um, when I first got here, I, I started going to all the Lao restaurants, speaking with Lao people, trying to eat Lao food and trying new things. I learned what I liked and what I didn't like. But eventually after living here for a while, you start to miss home. And, and I'm going to be honest, you really start to miss home. Um, I, I understand what it's like if you are a, a Hmong person or a Lao person living in the United States and you want to live near an Asian market or you want to live near an, an, a Hmong restaurant. Um, because here in Laos, you know, I, I enjoy living near American restaurants and having a place where I can eat a, a good hamburger. Um, and outside in the small towns, they don't have that. Just like in the United States, outside in the small towns, they don't have a lot of Hmong food or Lao food, right? And, and I realized, whoa, this, it gets really hard the longer you live here. And uh, I didn't really understand what culture shock was. I lived here for about a couple of months and I started to get really depressed. And I was like, why am I so depressed? And I realized it was after a couple of months that it was the shock of just being in a new culture for so long and I hadn't adjusted to it completely. I jumped in too fast and my body didn't have time to react. It was finally starting to react to this new culture and this new way of life. And it was really hard. But eventually I climbed out of that. Um, I think uh, I started to climb out of that when I got further away from the American and Falang and, and uh, the Westerner side of thing and things and moved further out more with Lao people. And I learned how to um, make my own traditions and my own way of life here that I feel like stuck with me in a really amazing way. Um, then I started to be able to understand people better in Lao. I started to get out and talk more with people in Hmong. And, and that was awesome. It opened my eyes to a whole new world. And uh, that was amazing. I mean, Laos isn't perfect for me. I mean, there's lots of things that I still miss in the United States. But I feel like I'm at the point where if I was to go back to the United States, I would miss Laos. And if I were to stay in Laos, I would miss the United States. And so I feel like it's a lose-lose situation because I love Laos so much and I love the United States. It's really hard. But as for the things that I've learned to really love here in Laos, I mean, obviously my favorite thing here is the people. I love hearing their stories, where they come from, how they live. I love to go and watch them um, because it's so different from what I was raised with. The way they react to things and the way they, the kind of wisdom and advice they give you Sometimes I don't always agree with it, but sometimes it's an eye-opening experience to new wisdom and new ways to live your life. Um, but the second thing that I really love here has to be, I mean, we'll get to something else in a minute. The second thing that I really love here probably would have to be the food. I love food, and because of that, I have gained so much weight out here. I mean, I'm losing weight now, but I had gained so much weight here because the rice is amazing. The fruit is like candy. The soups are amazing. Everything is amazing here. All the food is. And I'm not a shy person. I love to eat chicken feet. I love to eat the chicken head and the chicken neck. I mean, my favorite part of the chicken is the tail. Woo! Chicken tail. My wife calls it a papilkai. I don't know what she calls it. Something else. But anyways, I like the tail. And it's not the papil, it is the tail, okay? It is really good. Um, and I eat literally everything. If it's there, I will try it. And there are so many good food here that I love to eat. I'm not afraid to eat street food. I mean, the food here is really, really good. Um, in a good way and in a bad way because I gain lots of weight. <laughs> um, even the foreigner food here is really good. 
I can't stress that. I mean, I, I thought leaving the United States, I would miss my Mexican food, but they have lots of Mexican food here. There's plenty of places you can get a good burrito or you can get a good taco. I mean, they have that stuff here. They even have Chilean food and some of the best French food I've ever had is here in Laos. They've also had a really, really good pizza and Italian food. It's amazing what they have here. It totally shocked me. Though I don't eat it too much. I mostly just try and eat local food. Um, one thing that I feel like was really hard with the food was adjusting to Hmong food. I remember when I was in the United States, I thought Hmong food was pho and kapun and, you know, the banh mi sandwiches and all this stuff. And in America, that very much is Hmong food. But, uh, you know, here in Laos, that's not Hmong food. Hmong food, Hmong people here really do eat a lot of the very traditional Hmong food. I mean, there are people I ask, what is your favorite food? as an English teacher, and they'll say, my favorite food is vegetables. <laughs> and I'm always like, vegetables? Yeah, but like, pad thai, like you guys have so many food here and all you want is just vegetables? And it's because that's what they love to eat. It's boiled vegetables and boiled meat or grilled meat. And, and I've learned to really like that because it's so much more wholesome than having all these more complex foods that you eat on a daily basis. Instead, it's like you're getting down to the very root of things. Um, the next thing I really like about Laos is just how primitive it can be. Laos is not very primitive in a lot of ways. They're very advanced in different ways, but they're primitive in the ways that America is advanced in a lot of ways. And it's kind of hard and complex for me to say this, but I'll, I'll try and explain it. For instance, um, when I was in the United States, I used to think I was pretty good at surviving on my own. I thought, you know, if things were to go bad, I'll plant a garden in my backyard and I'll be fine. Um, you know, and I can probably, you know, I know how to handle a gun and a ball and I'd probably be okay. But after coming out here to Laos, I just realized how much really is edible that I didn't know about. How many things really taste good that are all around you that I didn't know about. And Lao people, they, and Hmong people, they know how to make food from everything. And it's so natural, it's so natural and original that when you eat this food, it's like it's from your backyard and they're making entire meals out of it. Whereas in the United States, you know, we have these dried spices from all over the world that we use, which is great. But here in Laos, they're in your backyard and they aren't dried, they're fresh. And they know exactly how to use them when they cook. And the food is amazing. It doesn't always have a lot of flavor, but it doesn't need a lot of flavor because it tastes good enough, but it makes you feel good on the inside. It feels healthy when you eat. Um, um, the next thing that I feel like I have really enjoyed here in Laos is the beauty. Laos is a very beautiful country. I feel like sometimes I'm in Kung Fu Panda when I see the mountains because they just shoot up out of nowhere and they are covered in green and it is just extremely beautiful to see that. The waterfalls here are amazing. The rivers are amazing. It's truly um, an amazing place if you can get out and travel. But I feel like most people when they come here, they just travel to the tourist destinations. My opinion is, is you just gotta get out into the villages and you've gotta see the people. You gotta see everything because Laos is so much more beautiful than places like um, just Vong Vieng. Vong Vieng is very beautiful, but if that's the only place you've been, you need to get out. You need to see the rest of Laos because Laos is beautiful all over. And I think Laos is an amazing country with amazing people who want to meet you and um, with amazing sights to see everywhere. Um, and I've been to some places that not a lot of foreigners have been to and I have not regretted it. I think it's a really great to go see these things. Um, the, I gotta say, the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me in my life happened here in Laos. I had my son, um, and that was a very scary experience, but a great experience. Um, and I think I'll talk more about this in a different video. But uh, having a family here in Laos has also opened my eyes to how family dynamics are different um, a lot. And uh, some of the things I like, some of the things I don't, but some of the things that I really like are just uh, how much the community cares and supports you. I feel like in America, you know, I didn't even know my neighbors. I can't even remember any of my neighbors' names. I can remember my old, old neighbors from when I was a little kid because I used to play with their kids. But 
Now, you know, my, my most recent neighbors, I didn't know any of their names. All through high school, I didn't know any of my neighbors' names, and I didn't know who they were. But here, I know the whole community, and the whole community knows who I am. They all know my son, and they all know his name. And it's like they are all so excited when we walk by. They all want to say hi to us, and they all want to be a part of the community with us. And I think that's amazing to have a community that cares so much about your family. Um, I think I've talked enough for this video. I'd like to say more things, and I'll do it in another video. But this is mainly for the uh, anybody who speaks English and wants to listen to this, because I have a lot of people who ask me, what is Laos like? And there is so many things that I have not had the experience to share with people. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. I ask that you guys subscribe, like, and share this video with as many people as you know. It helps me here in Laos. It helps me and my family uh, stay afloat. And I love it when uh, I hear your guys' feedback and response. Thank you so much. See you later.